Green Bay Packers are set to clash with the Los Angeles Rams in Week 5, but with both teams struggling to find their rhythm this season, the real question is, can the Packers bounce back after their loss to the Vikings and reclaim their place as NFC contenders? As Packers fans, we've seen our team battle through adversity, but this game will require more than just heart. What will it take for Green Bay to overcome the Rams' defensive line and contain the elusive Kyron Williams? Stick around as we break down the five critical keys to victory for the Packers. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on the game and subscribe for more Packers news and updates. Week 5 marks a crucial moment for the Green Bay Packers, who stand at 2-2 after a disappointing defeat at the hands of the Minnesota Vikings. As the team prepares to face the Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium, the stakes couldn't be higher. Both teams are grappling with inconsistency, and the outcome of this game could determine the trajectory of the Packers' season. The Rams, sitting at 1-3, are also in a vulnerable position. But their experienced head coach, Sean McVay, and veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford make them a dangerous opponent, no matter their record. Add to that a Rams team desperate to avoid slipping further behind in the NFC standings, and the Packers will have their hands full. As a lifelong Packers fan, I know that each game comes down to more than just talent on the field. It's about heart, execution, and strategy. This Sunday's showdown will test all three for Green Bay. In this breakdown, we'll explore the five key factors that will determine whether the Packers can leave Los Angeles with a win. When it comes to facing the Rams, the pass rush is always a concern, even without future Hall of Famer Aaron Donald. First-round draft pick Jared Verse has quickly emerged as a menace on the defensive front. His combination of size, speed, and relentlessness will be a significant challenge for the Packers' offensive line, particularly left tackle Rashid Walker. The Packers' O-line has been one of the better units in the NFL at protecting quarterback Jordan Love, but this will be a true test of their cohesion and adaptability. Walker, along with the rest of the line, must ensure that Love has the time he needs to make throws downfield. If Verse and company are able to consistently collapse the pocket, it could disrupt the entire offensive game plan. On the other side, the Rams' secondary has shown vulnerabilities, which means if Love gets the protection he needs, there will be opportunities to exploit the defense. With explosive weapons like Romeo Dews and Christian Watson, if available, the Packers have the ability to torch the Rams deep. But it all starts with neutralizing that pass rush. Can the Packers' O-line hold the line and give Jordan Love the time he needs to exploit the Rams' weaknesses? This will be the first big hurdle they need to clear on Sunday. While the Rams have struggled in pass protection this season, their running game has been a different story. Running back Kyron Williams has been a bright spot for Los Angeles, with an impressive 54% success rate on rushes, 5 touchdowns, and 20 first down runs. The Rams' offensive line has been battered by injuries, but they've managed to carve out lanes for Williams to work. For the Packers, who have had a mixed record in stopping the run this season, this will be a key challenge. Players like Saquon Barkley and Jonathan Taylor have had their way against the Green Bay defense, and Williams will look to add his name to that list. Packers defensive coordinator Joe Barry will need to scheme effectively to contain Williams early, preventing him from dictating the pace of the game. Green Bay's ability to bottle up Williams could force the Rams into uncomfortable passing situations, which, given their O-line struggles, could play right into the Packers' hands. If Kyron Williams is allowed to get into a rhythm, it could be a long day for the defense. Stopping him might just be the key to keeping the Rams from gaining any momentum. With the Rams' offensive line showing cracks in pass protection, this is the week for the Packers' pass rush to shine. Matthew Stafford, while still dangerous, is not known for his mobility. With Packers linemen like Roshan Gary and Preston Smith poised to apply pressure, Stafford could face a long day in the pocket. One potential setback for the Packers is the injury situation along their own defensive line. Devontae Wyatt is expected to miss the game, and Kenny Clark continues to nurse a lingering toe injury. Despite these challenges, the Green Bay front must capitalize on the Rams' weakness in pass protection. 
Stafford has been under pressure on 35% of his dropbacks this season, leading to a 47.2 completion percentage in disrupted pockets. The formula here is simple. Pressure Stafford, force mistakes, and limit his time to scan the field. Green Bay has the talent up front to wreak havoc, and if they can consistently get after Stafford, the Rams' offense could stall. This is a pivotal area where the Packers need to dominate to secure the win. Jordan Love has never been shy about throwing deep, and this week presents an ideal opportunity for Green Bay to exploit the Rams' secondary. According to NextGen Stats, the Rams have allowed the most touchdown passes on throws over 20 yards this season, and their defense has struggled to stop big plays downfield. Even with Christian Watson potentially sidelined, the Packers' receiving core has shown explosiveness. Romeo Dews and Jaden Reed have both demonstrated a knack for making plays in space, and Love's willingness to take shots deep could pay off big on Sunday. The Rams' secondary has been giving up an average target depth of nearly 14 yards, which spells trouble for their defensive backfield. If Green Bay can establish some deep connections early, it will force the Rams to adjust their defense, opening up even more opportunities underneath. The deep ball is a major weapon for Love, and this week is primed for him to continue making strides in that area. One of the biggest areas of opportunity for the Packers this week is winning in critical situations, namely third down and red zone efficiency. The Rams rank near the bottom of the league in both categories, giving the Packers a clear pathway to success if they can capitalize. On third down, the Rams' defense is allowing a staggering 50% conversion rate, which ranks 30th in the NFL. The Packers, meanwhile, need to improve their own third down offense to sustain drives and control the clock. If Green Bay can extend drives and avoid going three and out, it will keep the Rams' defense on its heels. In the red zone, the Rams have also been abysmal, scoring touchdowns on just 41.2% of their trips. This is where the Packers must seize the opportunity. If Green Bay can execute effectively in the red zone and finish drives with touchdowns, they should be able to outpace the Rams. Winning these situational battles is crucial in a game that could come down to the wire. As the Packers gear up to face the Rams, the path to victory is clear but challenging. Containing the Rams' pass rush, neutralizing Kyron Williams, and dominating in pass rushing opportunities are just the beginning. The Packers also need to take advantage of the Rams' vulnerabilities in the secondary and win key situational battles on third down and in the red zone. If Green Bay can execute these five keys, a win against Los Angeles should be within reach, but it won't be easy. Every snap will count, and every play could determine the outcome. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, like the video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth Packers news. Let's cheer on the pack together. 4-0.